Hey folks, how's it going? We're checking out more Black Mirror. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day, man. I really, really enjoyed the last episode. I thought it was fantastic. Of course it was sad because of the subject matter and what happened to the young girl. The lady being involved with it with her boyfriend, saying she was under his spell and all that stuff. Which somebody brought that up in the comment section about how she, that's one of the things that I think you said you didn't like about it was the fact that she could have been controlled by him the entire time. She said she don't even remember recording anything in the court case. She mentioned this and that he was controlling her the entire time, which could be very true. But she was held accountable for a crime that she didn't commit. And he was able to just out himself and get out of the entire situation. And she was just stuck holding the bag the entire time. And that was that was really messed up. The, when I thought of that situation, I thought well, she was just maybe one of those people who were, you know, trying to s save her own skin. Because I... I don't follow true crime personally, but Tay's really into it. My girl, she reads the books, she follows the whole shebang, yada, yada, yada. So, I've, of course, I've watched enough, a few cases. And there's been a few I've watched where, like, it feels like each time there's a woman involved, like, there, there's a, a lighter sentence happens because they can use that as a, a way out. And I just thought that's what she was doing in that situation, where it's like, oh, the boyfriend is abusive, or the boyfriend's controlling, or I didn't know what he was doing. You know? So, I don't know. I thought that was the case. Maybe that's what was going on in this situation as well, where she was just trying to get a lighter sentence or have people take pity on her because, yeah, men can be abusive in relationships. I mean, anybody can be abusive, but usually that's the way it goes. Usually a guy is abusing his wife or the guy is the one doing all the stuff and then the woman is just doesn't know what's going on in the situation. I forgot the one where the guy had all these buckets hidden everywhere of, like, kill equipment, like he had knives and all this stuff inside of him he had just have him buried in places so when he was ready to do something at a moment's notice whatever state he lived in he would stop go to his location dig up his bucket to get his knives and all that kind of stuff and then take a person out that he saw that he wanted to get because he didn't have a specific type it just if if it hit him he did it that's how he worked yeah the dude was a lunatic i'm like oh, i mean, guess they're, they're all loons but i forgot the guy's name but he did that he had like just kits everywhere because he traveled a lot Wife never knew anything about it. One person he did right in their shed it was a girl, and she didn't know anything about it. It was just crazy. It's, it's insane. So that's what I mean. Like somebody did, and if you speak to the wife or the girlfriend, like I didn't even know he was crazy. Now have kids and everything. And then you guys mentioned about how this really ties to just vigilante justice in general. Just 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 how humans are. We enjoy just the spectacle of it. We enjoy seeing people suffer. That's what a lot of people are. I personally don't, but a decent amount of people do. I'm not saying I'm like better than anybody. But I'm just, I, I don't. I, I couldn't watch it. I couldn't watch somebody if they had this. If this is a real thing, I couldn't be there watching it. I can watch like a public execution like people used to back in the day. Maybe if I grew up in that time and it was like the only entertainment, I couldn't do it. It's just any of that stuff, like the whole gladiator stuff, and they have to like choose the person going to live or die and all. I they couldn't watch any of those things. And that's different than, but still, if somebody's dying. And you can choose if the person, the person they're fighting is going to live or die in that moment. If you, that's just, I don't know. I think the crowd decides if they live or die in that moment, um, if the person should be spared or not. Just, I don't know, all that stuff is just, it's wild to me. I couldn't imagine participating in it. But I guess if you grew up in those times, maybe it was the entertainment, just you, it's the entertainment you want. But I, I can imagine there are people who hated it, and that's the reason why it, they don't do it anymore. The people are like, I oh, don't like this. Only the crazy seem to like this, and that's why times have changed. Uh, but we still, there's still part of it that's in us. It's there because there are people who still love it. People love the Twitter mob stuff. People will show up at your house just off of no evidence because somebody just stated something about you and it gained traction online. So now you have a crowd of people in front of your house. Because people just, I, I, maybe it makes people feel like they're doing something. I don't know what it is that clicks people hit, but I personally don't get it. I can imagine caring that much about something that I, don't know, I shouldn't tell say I shouldn't say that I should say it's not worth caring about because I get passionate about like Star Trek and stuff and people are like why do you care like, so I can't tell somebody not to care about some stuff that I find goofy just like they find myself goofy so I can't tell them not be passionate about it I don't know. but I can imagine being part of, of something that hurts somebody that impacts their life negatively impacts their their job impacts their family, like their, their source of income, their lives can actually get them hurt or take their life out. Any of those things, I can imagine being part of that process on that episode was terrible. Like, well, this is crazy. Something like that. I can see some, some people wanting something like this for real, but I couldn't be a part of that process. I thought it was I thought it was insane, but it does kind of tie with mobs and stuff now that mob mentality and less evidence 
you can have less evidence and get something like that going. If you look at how things are now, like just an accusation, that'd be enough to win people over. This guy did this thing. This girl did this thing. I'm sold. But yeah, I thought this, this episode was fantastic. I, I really enjoyed it a lot for sure. So let's just go ahead and jump into this one and we will talk about it more at the end. <clears throat> They're ready for you now. Gwendolyn Harris, we've met. All men. But you don't know the others. No, but I'm familiar with you. Be also good, please. Pop stars do believe in weird things. Abba believes in angels. Art Kelly believes in the fly. I said show you this. Did this happened just now. Gladwell? Shame Tory Jason Gladwell resigns capitals over Twitter porn pic scandal. Oh, so he wasn't hacked after all. Mm-hmm. Bump it all up to the top of the monologue. Anyone seen Jamie? Rach. Jamie, hurry up. What do you know about Stenton Fidden Hersham? Safe Tory seat. So, realistically, I know there's not much of a chance, but... So it's a stepping think... stone for you? Yes, except I did commit a series of murders in Huddersfield between 99 and 2003. But uh, apart from that... Super groomer and all-round pillock of the community, Jason Gladwell, has resigned as an MP, which presumably was the idea. Mm. Anyway, the bad news is he's resigned in disgrace. The good news is he's now free to pursue a full-time career in the disgraced paedophile industry. <laughs> Personally, I don't understand why anyone's surprised that Michael Jackson believed that his doctor was qualified. Big ball blue bear bollocks. And now it's time for our final visit to the world of educational children's programming, courtesy of everyone's favourite and only occasionally inappropriate cool kids TV character, Walder. I was hoping he'd notch me off. Want to see how it panned out? I think we should. Run VT! <laughs> Kids, my guest this week is Mr. Munro. Hello, Mr. Munro. Hello, Walder. Mr. Munro is a politician. Politician. So, what is a politician, Mr. Munro? Exactly what you. You don't know what pussy is. <laughs> okay, this is clearly some kind of joke. No hint joke. Of, Sorry, let's show let's move on. Like Friends again. Thank. <laughs> Yeah. What do you want, Miss Tamsin? Behind me, man in glasses talking to Jack Napier. Jack freaks me out. Yeah, ditto, but he owns the company, and the man he's with is important and wants to talk to you. <sighs> he's from the channel. Go on. This is honestly what all I'm saying. No, what I'm saying is he's a terrific guy. Jim, Jamie, Jamie, Jim. How do you do? Jim, Jack, James. Jamie. Uh, Jim was just talking about Waldo. Yeah. Liam Munro has lodged a complaint. Toys out of the pram. And that's good press. So tough to get a breakthrough these days, but when it does. Close on get fired. Uh, it's just fantastic. It's fantastic the way Waldo puts the piss up Munro. You know, all those twats, it's punk. It's it's excuse me. And then uh, ladies on uh, Strange New Worlds. The newer Star Trek show. Yeah, but look, we can't do sketches without Waldo. Yeah. It's a Waldo pilot. It's a Waldo Big show. It's got to be Waldo, Waldo, Waldo. Realistically, <laughs> there isn't the budget. The problem is, any guests we book will be in on it. They know that Waldo's a joke. The surprise is gone. Yeah. So we think round that. Hey, yeah, boys just... and girls, it's Waldo time! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> He's awesome, isn't he? I mean, look, hey, boys stop naming girls. lights. You're an app Waldo now, my brother. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> All right, sir. How's the think tanking going? Good shit? Um, yeah, yeah, we're making headway. Good. See our friend Munro's in the news again, running in the Stentedford by-election. Munro. But it was a great bit. I'm not dumb or clever enough to be political. Why just... don't we get Waldo to stand for the by-election? 
get people to vote for him. He's not real. But people have stood as fictional characters before. Do you think Screaming Lord Such was his real name? We just put... Uh. Okay, I can't remember how many votes these nuts got, but they got a... What, like 11%? I think somebody, like... I think it was these nuts. Somebody, the people were keying in. They're like voting for at one of the elections. Me too. So much for joining me this morning. It's been incredibly informative, and uh, I think we should have a little round of applause for the children. It's fantastic. Thank you, Naomi. <laughs> um, thank you for your time. Did you get off with any of the mums? Where'd you look while they were breastfeeding? You got big milky tits, Mr. Munro. Uh oh. He said it. Mr. Monroe, don't walk away from me. Hey, I'm, I'm sorry about the Hey, don't ignore me. Don't just get in your car. <laughs> your name in there. This is like bloody moon pig. Don't knock the free man out. Bet Liam Monroe doesn't use some Fisher Price leaf. Oh, he He doesn't have to. Look over here, Mr. Monroe. Uh, the Look Conservative over here. Party hey, have been, uh, hey, please, have been arguing Monroe. for a reduction in the, in the hey, license hey, fee. Good morning, for... everybody. Why are you ignoring me, Mr. Monroe? Why are you ignoring me, Mr. Monroe? Mr. Monroe. Mr. Monroe. Mr. Monroe. Yeah. Yeah. We should probably just shift before this turns stupid. I'm not walking away from a cartoon. I'm, uh, I'm not ignoring you. Yeah, you were. Uh, you upset me. You made Waldo sad. <laughs> no, I'm, uh, I'm not ignoring you because there is no you. You are an image voiced by a comedian, an alleged comedian, more accurately. If I'm not real, why are you talking to him? And by him, I mean me, nubber. Right. Oh, no. <laughs> Finished. <laughs> Drink? I have got emails. Someone's bold. Do I know you? Nice way to greet a voter. Oh, sorry. I, I thought Actually, you were... um, this is not his arrival. Who's on the phone with then? Hey, Mr. Monroe. Mr. Monroe. Why are you ignoring me, Mr. Monroe? You could do that. Because I. So he's on the phone with the other girl? Is that the way you describe it, it's like you're doing this for a show reel. No! Okay. Like this place is the equivalent of a walk on in a sketch show. <laughs> but your party leader has to show up because it's a uh, mid thing. Mid turn back. You are so as aren't gonna vote for me, so here's what I think anyway. It doesn't work like that. Nothing does, that's why everything's bollocks. No, you're angry for someone who's doing well. I'm the voice of a blue bear. <laughs> <laughs> if that's doing well, then we are doomed. When I get too excited, I'm not sleeping in it. Shit, really? It's going to bite her in the ass, isn't it? I thought that was going to happen anyway. I don't know why I thought she was the one who was on the phone earlier. I mixed it up. I haven't been happy in a while. And this is good, you know? Mm. Can I have your number? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> you're right, strong Tory. I warned you. Well, you know you're on Monroe turf and they live so far apart. I'm voting Waldo! I met Waldo last night. Tough route. Uh, not really. No, he's okay. <laughs> he's a comedian. He's mocking Monroe now. It'll be you next. His act is all F this and penis jokes. But... Don't see him again. Nightmare going on question time. It's students, you're walking. I can't answer serious no questions. No one wants you to. You're the comic relief. Lighten up.
Hey. Hi. This dude get a guy with a few more details. Why do people do this stuff on like shows and movies? Say, man, three more seconds of details. Conflict of interest is ruining my campaign. God bless him. Man. Check the host. Jail bait Dimbleby. When it comes to addiction and addicts, we should sympathize, but we shouldn't patronize. You know, serious drug use is a criminal offense that is committed voluntarily and for pleasure. Well, I'm sorry, these are the facts. Waldo, what do you think? Mr. Monroe, are you addicted? No. Sorry, I mean, are you a dickhead? <laughs> I think we have to ask ourselves, I think we have to ask ourselves, what is this for? And why do we waste our time with animated trivialities like him? I mean, why? Why? I mean, why? I mean, why? You fool! I'm, I'm, I'm speaking about James Salter. Hmm? It's your name, isn't it? Now, James Salter. This is the man who's behind all this. Uh, he's 33 years old, uh, a man whose career can be oh, summed no. up surprisingly uh, quickly. You're, you're in a sketch troupe that enjoyed sort of minor success about six years ago, and the, the others moved on to better things. But your main achievement seems to have been playing the, the part of a process of debate and smothers any meaningful discussion of the issues. So I return to my original question. Is that really what this is for? He has nothing to offer, and he has nothing to say. Prove me wrong. Hmm? Speak, Waldo. You look less human than I do, and I'm a made-up bear with a turquoise cock. <laughs> <laughs> what are you? You're just an old attitude with new hair. Assuming you're my superior because I'm not taking you seriously. No one takes you seriously a lot. Because they know you don't give a shit about anything outside your bubble. What about your mate Gladwell, the kiddie flasher? You knew him for 20 years. Did you not know what he was like? No, of course not. Yeah, because you're all just front like him, sly and pretending. And in that way, you're all the same. Do win. And there isn't much point in this Why are you here? Tell them why you're here. If we can't have anything Tell resembling Tell them why you're here. Tell them why you're here. She's here to build a showreel. I'm not kidding. That's literally it. No, she's not going to win. This is. <laughs> Can I just make it? Damn. Oh, shut up! You pebble! What is this for? That's what you wanted to know, Mr. Monroe. And the truth is, none of us know anymore, thanks to you. What are you for? What are you for? Thank you and good night. Damn. He might actually have voted in. A cartoon. to see us. You can't avoid it. The yes, accusation that rapidity aside, it's clearly tapped a nerve. In just three days, Waldo has gone viral. The video of his clash... Of New air! Assuming you're my superior because I'm not taking you seriously. No one takes you seriously. He knows my name now. We could really do something here. You know, everyone's pissed with the status quo, and Waldo gives that a voice. Waldo's a bear. A blue bear. Tell him, <laughs> Tams. We've been asked on consensus. It's a ten minute. And when Crane asks something tricky and I look stupid because I don't know how to answer. You'll know the answer, because you have a producer. Look, I can tell you what to say. I can live Google any facts, give you stats, quotes, whatever else you need. So you've got a safety net for the concrete stuff. And the rest is Waldo. You can do that in your sleep. You'll piss all over Crane. 
He'll know there's a team around me. He'll see it. Yeah, good. I hope he does. I hope he points a camera at it. All the other MPs have got teams. We're just more honest about it. Mm. Now, come on. What do you say? Hey? This will be stressful as heck. Films. Do you have any <laughs> other astounding theories about young people? Yeah, yeah, I do, actually. Look, they care about Waldo. They'll vote for Waldo. The video was a hit the for a reason. The video's embarrassing. I'm embarrassed by it. I was lashing out. I wasn't even articulate. It doesn't matter. Or funny, which is almost worse. We can build on that. Waldo's not real. Exactly. That's what you said that really hit home. He's not real, but he's realer than all the others. He doesn't stand for anything. Yeah, well, at least he doesn't pretend to. Look, we, we don't need politicians. No. We've all got iPhones and computers. Dog farting the theme tune to Happy Days. <laughs> well, today, it's Waldo. No, it's still the dog. Listen, can you imagine all the things we can change if we fuck the politicians out of the equation? I've said what I've said and now... You're too frightened to take it to the next level? Fine, I understand. But also, fuck off and watch me fly. Damn. You own Waldo, you can't be Waldo. Hey, Jamie, 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 what's happening? Uh... What's happening? Uh... Walderific, yay, yay. What? First tonight, a figure, or more accurately, a character who's been causing an upset in the Stentonford by-election. Unlike the other candidates, he has no party affiliation. He doesn't even have a surname. He is Waldo. A few weeks ago, just a... Waldo, as a mascot for the disenfranchised, aren't you ultimately neutralizing seriously effective dissent? Can I have subtitles for Mr. Crane, please? By encouraging people not to care, you're actively dangerous. Dangerous? You think the public can't be trusted? No. Isn't it? Oh, make yeah. a nice prawn Can we cocktail make a for serious me. Serious political point that I've is. I've got one big blue point to make. Oh Phil. God! Would you like Thank to have a look you. at it? <laughs> Great work. <laughs> Look at, look at this, look at this. It's the Waldo polling app. Now, this can pinpoint you with GPS so that when you're at a polling station... The agency. Hey. Hey, and I'll leap right in. I think what you're doing with Waldo is fascinating. From the agency? Yeah, listen. Waldo may be the perfect political figurehead. Waldo the bear. The bear people like. The fact he's a bear is an assist. An assist? Loss. I'm a person. With respect, Waldo's more than you. He's a team. Yeah. And you're open about that, which is fantastic. The honesty thing works. Waldo is a construct. People not yeah. just accept. He said that. But embrace. At the moment, he's anti-politics, since he's the perfect assassin. We won't win, though. <laughs> you guys are so British. No, of course you won't win. You started out too coarse off the bat. There's no substantial basis to what you offer, and the whole nihilist democracy sucks thing yeah it's kind of wackadoo but with a targeted hopeful message which we of course can provide energizing the disenfranchised without spook in the middle via your it's uh it's interesting stuff though when you're done with stenton ford there may be an opportunity in south america se puede hablar espanol maybe i'm madrid tres años excelente what? He's not coming. But he's the party leader. It's too toxic. Meanwhile, a support for Gwendolyn Harris appears to be dwindling. Did you see Gwendolyn Harris yesterday? Her too. She looks like she's been poisoned. Because he's going to overtake her. We're still way ahead. If that thing is the main opposition, then the whole system looks absurd. <clears throat> I'm sorry, okay? It was wrong to speak to you like that, and... After the campaign, I would have called you. After the campaign. And what have you got? Who are you? What are you for? Mm. Morning. Fez for Waldo. Yeah, no, he's about to botch this for sure. Whatever, he, he might do something crazy. Attention shoppers. I'm here to ask you an important favor. Gather round. Come over here and listen. 
Worse than a wasted vote. He's from the Harris campaign. I mean it, you idiots. Don't vote for me. Don't vote for me. Don't vote for me. Don't vote for me. Shut up. No, don't boo him. He's right. He's right. What are you doing? Resigning. Jamie! Look, it's me. I'm Waldo. This guy, whoever this guy is, he's a hero. You should throw stuff at Waldo. He's bad bloody he's news. He's funny. He's not. Don't listen to that man. He's a lesbian. Gets 500 yeah. quid. Yes, that's my name. Smash it. Yeah. 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 He's played himself. God bless him. The election is as follows. Finch, Simon Arthur, Liberal Democrats, 2,449. <laughs> Harris, Gwendolyn Jody, Labour, 11,237. <laughs> Monroe, Liam George Tennyson, Conservative, 19,161. <laughs> declared that Liam Munro is duly elected Member of Parliament for the constituency. Hey, hey, everyone, 500 quid to anyone who can lob a shoe. Yeah. Was it really just ended it like that? <laughs> Ooh, homeless? Okay, All right, man, that was good. That was a, well, a decent episode. Out of all the ones I've seen so far, I'll say that one's, I'll say the lowest in the category for sure, but it was, it was still decent. The ending, saying how everything changed so fast with, uh, I almost forgot his name. I was about to say Grumpy Waldo, uh, with Waldo um, being used as like a, I don't know if political pawn is the right word for, but just for power and influence across the world. He was like everywhere, on jets and everything. And... This whole anti-government, uh, well, he's supposed to be anti-government, but when a guy came and sat down, he already said that, like, he liked that, but they could use it as a tool to, like, control people and all that stuff in so many words. I know I'm butchering what he said, but he said something like that about controlling people and using it and yada, 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 and he likes what it stands for and what it can work and blah, 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 and they can definitely use it. He made the joke about it, like, you know, being a worldwide thing, and they can start in uh, South America and branch out from there, and it looks like it, it got traction really, really fast. And now everybody's saying, like, this, uh... What's what is it like? Uh, is in every like a lot of sci fi is like that. Like, judge, I wouldn't say it's as far as like something like Judge Dread, but or Clockwork Orange is the uh, what is the Clockwork Orange is considered? Is that a police state? Or I think Judge Dread and Robocop are considered police states, and I think there's totalitarian government, and there's another one like it is whatever the terms are, but it looks like that's what's going on there police state, totalitarian government, uh, overlord or overreach states, or whatever. Um, and he said something about like people putting their votes in on like on a phone as opposed to having politicians. I'm guessing they did that. Ousted all the politicians and everybody's just voting through their digital devices. Uh, kind of like having an AI overlord type thing, but I'm pretty sure it's manipulated through algorithms and all that kind of stuff. Then also using that, uh, almost like grumpy again. Why am I keep on? Why do I want to go with grumpy for? Uh, Waldo and using Waldo to continue to spread the message of anti government. And now they have this massive, you know. 
looks like police state. Cause you see, these, I saw a giant truck spraying stuff, and they're beating homeless people and everything. So that means like everyday citizens don't have rights. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like the homeless people are mistreated now, even with the current government we have. We know we know that happens to people who are homeless. They're treated like second class citizens. So we know that happens already. But if they go to the right person, there can be some justice, and they can be helped. I believe there was that killer that was going around who was targeting uh, homeless people, and it was a yeah, it was a guy who was just going around shooting homeless people. And when the homeless people, you know, I can't remember the exact story. But I think they rallied together to find um, help, and they actually caught the guy and everything. So, and and I'll say like a future government was like a police state or a totalitarian like thing. You they wouldn't care. They're like oh, he's cleaning up the streets. We don't care what he does. You can just run him up. I'm pretty sure there's probably somebody doing something like that now, which is terrible. And we're the show's kind of like. Yeah. I mean, what are we really doing now as well for homeless people? That's, but that's a whole nother subject. Yeah, I'm just saying. It looks pretty rough. It looks bleak. That's how, you know how it goes in these things. You know it's the future and things are rough and the government's running things. When uh, there's like something flying in the sky and the police are wearing all this gear and they're driving giant trucks. You saw the truck going past and then you see his uh, message all over the TV like and stuff. And, and as soon as he, uh, there's not even a warning given when, given when he starts hitting the thing. There's no rights, no Miranda rights read off to him. Like, you have the right to man, remain silent, any of that stuff. He just starts getting, he just gets, like, shocked and then beat, and they walk off. So, things are looking mighty rough. Not exactly sure what the, the message for this is. Maybe it's that democracy is a fickle thing. So, don't play with it too much. You can, like, we're, like, on a knife's edge, maybe. And it can fall off at any time. Just be very careful. Uh, what you wish for with the whole, like, anti-government type speech, because you never know what might rise to power, might get this version of a thing. Uh, it's not necessarily, like, a, a a dictatorship, but some type of police state ran by, like, algorithms and apps and some person who's pushing this anti-government, anti-political uh, message and talking about how democracy is broken and then use this because we can go through our apps and stuff. And I can definitely see people buying the message saying we don't need political leaders, we don't need people to make these decisions for us, and yada, yada, yada. Um when we have all this new technology and people going, yeah, that sounds good. Let's do that. And it's falling apart because it, at the end of the day, they, you know, I mean, humans are fallible for sure. But when things go wrong, at least they can be held accountable, even though a lot of people feel like they're above accountability, which they do. They get away with so much stuff, but they're still at the end of the day, if enough people come together, there's still somebody to be held accountable. Where like, if you do all this, you know, through apps and all that kind of stuff, you can, I just feel like you can hide your stuff in a sea of information. If, say, somebody starts, like, manipulating the algorithm through bots, and they had to go through all these, like, sift through all this stuff to find out who was at the end of it, who was the root of it, and then all you, then one day you just plant it on some random programmer that you say, I hacked the system, then he, and he hung himself inside of a cell. Some crazy like that. So, it's all these things where you'll never really get to the root person if you just have, like, algorithms doing it. And it's not really the algorithms or like people actually having the, the option to vote as he said they are. You know, it's been manipulated by bots and stuff. But once it gets exposed, you're like, it wasn't us. We created the software, but it was this random engineer who just happened to kill himself. So I don't know. As I said, you can still make the argument that government officials still kind of do the same thing now when they get away with stuff. And a lot of people rise through the ranks through uh, nepotism and all of that as well. So I don't know. It's a flawed system. I know right now it's the one we have, and we need to work on improving this system, tweaking this, getting the wrong people out, getting money out of politics, and all those things, but like completely scrapping it and going with something like this just sounds terrible. And I know there's a ton of people who would like to. I'm pretty sure there are people who just, just really feel like the system we have now is useless, burn it down, and start over. And it's, I don't think people realize how terrible that would be. So maybe that's the point they're trying to make, that uh, democracy is very... A fickle thing and it can fall apart very easily so be careful what you wish for be that and i also think they might be saying that a lot of voters are dinky maybe maybe they're saying that but yeah man this is a wild episode sad for him man he tried to tell everybody not to vote for him and all that kind of stuff, but it was too late he would have been much better off staying as that character profiting off of it and trying to make small change after that it's just, it's crazy to me that he did that it's wild but i think people people will probably do that i don't know 
but he, he knows the the guy already said he's replaceable. He owns the character. A, a freaking dark suit guy shows up. It's like freaking man in black stuff. Like, you know, they're going to use your character for the stuff. They're not going to just drop it. Even if you run out and do these things, they're not going to just drop it. And then what would have happened if somebody just sniped you or something? Like you you just feel good in the fact that you warn people. I don't know. Like, what, what when people do things like this, the people who, like, what's your end game for the stuff? When you've achieved nothing but yelling into a crowd of, like, what, 40 people? Look how big the world is. Don't you think it would have made a bigger impact if you stayed in that position, did the character, made your buku bucks, and then tried to influence the world with your money or through that or, like, seed out stuff from there because the ball had already it started rolling already. But now he's just homeless on the street with nothing. I don't know. I guess maybe he can sleep better at night, but he clearly isn't. He tried to break the screen. I just don't know. I don't know what people's end games are when it comes to things like this. But you, I guess you have to be in their mindset at that moment and deal with the frustration they're dealing with, deal with the anxiety that they're dealing with in those situations for that to be. And uh, maybe this way they wrote it because he had seemed like anxiety and maybe like identity issues, imposter syndrome, all these things depression issues throughout the entire thing and that's why it's probably why he just reacted that way just a gut instinct that things were out of control and he needed to do something right now so he couldn't think in a level-headed way and probably also just showing that most people just don't think in a level-headed way they just act that's the reason why people voted for a freaking cartoon i don't know but yeah this was a uh, wild wild stuff man sad wild dystopian police state totalitarian crazy stuff all right folks that is it that is all for this one hopefully you guys are happy safe and healthy i'll see you in the next one later